For your book, you interviewed some of the greatest uh, modern investors, Larry Fink, Ray Dalio, Mark Andreessen. What are some of the common threads that you found linking these great investors together? Great investors tend to have a background of, I'd say, middle class background. They tend to be fairly well educated. They tend to be pretty good in math, enormous amount of self-confidence, and their willingness to go against the conventional wisdom. So very often they become great because everybody says you should go left and they go right. And that's one of the great traits they have. They also have the ability to recognize a mistake and get out of it. The investors that you've interviewed, I mean, they made fortunes during varying times, right? Booms and busts. What lessons can we draw from their experiences when we're dealing with today's confusing economic world? When markets are down, that's when you get in. You're going to buy lower prices. Maybe you won't get to the bottom of the market, but you'll be near the bottom. And when markets are going up, that's generally when you should sell. You may not sell at the top, but that's probably when you should sell. That's the most common mistake. And the, the best investors are buying actually when the prices are down, there's blood in the streets, and they are, have enough self-confidence to go ahead and buy them when other people are telling them not to do so. So how can we apply that to what we've seen recently in markets? Because it's been a pretty terrible year for the stock market. There's a lot of volatility and, and a lot of fear right now. There's a lot of fear because people are wondering whether we're going to be in a recession or not. And when there's a recession, people think the markets could go further down. I don't think that we've hit the bottom, the absolute bottom, but we're kind of close near the bottom in some technology areas. But right now, you have a chance to buy a lot of companies at much cheaper prices than they were trading a year or so ago. And probably they're going to come back. These are really good companies. All of a sudden, these companies are not going out of business in many cases. So let's talk about today's economy. Uh, GDP is negative in back-to-back -back quarters, but the jobs market has been surprisingly strong. Are we in a recession or not? Technically, you could say you're in a recession. There are many definitions of recession, but why do people not say we're in a recession? Because we have very strong uh, unemployment numbers. In other words, the unemployment rate is only 3.5%. Normally, when you're in a recession, you have high unemployment. Secondly, we have very high tax receipts, which means the economy is doing pretty well. Retail sales are in pretty good shape. So it doesn't have a classic sign of a recession. The fact that you're modestly negative for two consecutive quarters doesn't mean you're in a recession. Now, if we're in negative growth for another quarter and the unemployment rate goes up, then you